Yo everyone, if you're Caucasian or black then I can assure that you'll love this video, anything else and you'll probably still like it too. Anyways, hope you enjoyed another one of those MLG intros, it's kind of surreal that I've done two now within a week or so of each other after having barely done it before, but I felt as though I needed to touch up on some of my MLG editing and vocal skills, and viewers love MLG edits right? As long as I don't get a copyright strike for using 10 seconds of a song's instrumentals then I'm all down for more in the future. I'm kind of surprised I wasn't hit by one considering how hashtag unlucky I am with YouTube copyright shit, you know what I mean. But yeah, I only did the MLG edit for this video and the other one because there's a special theme behind both of them. Last one was about Vat Nation, this one's about pinstripes. On a certain balloon, the zebra balloon. Basically in this video it's going to all be about the 3-1 spike factory card. And the golden shark, to solve the mystery as to why the hell people are building that shit in the early game. Jokes side, we're going to talk about why the spike factory's rush portion is pretty damn good, and maybe one of the best mid-game rush options there are in card battles. So let us analyze it. We're going to disregard the tower portion because it's fucking useless. So we will skip right on to the sandwich unlocks at round 12, cost $2,000 and send 60 group zebras. Yes, you heard me right, 60. The plus 30 income doesn't matter much, it could be plus 0 and it'd be just as strong because you won't get a better deal than $33 per zebra balloon. Just look at all the other rush cards. Either they cost as much as the zebra sent but sends a much lower volume of balloons, or they are about as powerful as them but cost way way more. I won't go into the specifics of which other rush cards I was talking about there because my tournament opponents will probably be watching this and gathering information about my playstyle. So if you're watching this Chris, you have a nice dog. He's pretty good at battles too so that's a bonus. So as you just saw your mom just got wrecked by those zebras, it may not seem very powerful but it's just the sheer volume that makes this rush OP on top of the fact that it's freaking dirt cheap. I mean it's not one of those all in rushes where if you send it, you're instantly fucked on the defensive end. It's only 2k meaning you should still have plenty of leftover money if your opponent survives and sends a counter rush at you. Basically I feel that if you at the very least bait out one of your opponent's battle energies, then I consider that a success, just as long as you don't die to said counter rush, lol. While the 60 zebras may be an OP rush that certainly doesn't mean it's unstoppable, there are plenty of cards out there that can counter the rush such as the 00 dart monkey, 2 for village, or the 30 banana farm. I could give you serious suggestions but then again, people may be watching, but I probably shouldn't be so paranoid about since said people are probably knowledgeable enough at the game to know what can stop zebras, and so should most of you. Alright, so a bit of off topic talk now. The router I was talking about last video finally came in and so far it seems to be controlling the massive thing spikes pretty well, and damn right it should be. I didn't waste a couple hundred bucks for nothing. Special thanks for all you 32,000 subs out there as well as the 9 year old sarcasm detecting deficient kids without ad block for helping me pay for the router, lol. That was a huge mumble of word vomit right? There, but if you didn't catch what I said, basically dumb comments on my videos are a good thing because those viewers give me more ad money from less ad blocks on average than a normal viewer. Gotta find light in every dark situation you know. There's a bit more time before my commentary ends so I think I will fill it up with a good old and reliable comment, or should I say comments of the day, where I pick apart comments that I found quite amusing to say the least. First comes from Patrick Starr, let me think of a joke. Read the second word of the sentence above. The second word is me. That means, the joke is me. Wow, ha ha ha, holy shit my sides I can't stop laughing, 
That is so hilarious and original. Thank you for the laugh, my friend. Do a practice video and go over strategy for the tournament. Hmm, sounds like a brilliant idea, dude. Why don't I go ahead show the 11 other participants exactly how I'm going to play against them on Saturday? XD XD. First, sixth, 442nd. Thank you for the insightful comment. I sub I was insert username I played with you for exclamation marks. No you didn't, in fact I never played 99% of people who commented saying they played me. I realize at this point there's nothing I can do about said comments since there are too many copycats out in the wild, I think it's time for a name change soon. 8 minutes 8 seconds LMFAOLE giggle. Are you having a giggle mate? Because I don't see what's so funny 8 minutes 8 seconds into this video, other than the fact that when you divide players win percent by his medallions you get 3. And there's 3 sides to a triangle. Player is Illuminati confirmed. So that does it for all the comments. If you take a quick look at the game right now you will see I just got butt pounded by a 60% win rate dude, by you guessed it, the freaking 60 group zebra rush. I have a pretty good memory card so that game triggered me a lot because on the two lives left video, I also lost a game on yellow brick row to the same rush while placing a late laser cannon in the exact same shitty spot where it chases the blooms at the exit. As you can see I did not learn from my mistake, though in all fairness I didn't expect that guy to maelstrom my own zebra rush because normally you never see people use abilities unless they have an 80% win rate. Even more proof that card battles should have had its own win-loss system because it threw me off my game. Anyways, continue watching for more zebra wreckage, make sure to drop a like as well, and have a colorless day.